All righty. Well, hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Monterey Bay Aquarium here live on YouTube. My name is Patrick. I work at the aquarium here in social media, and we are live right now from the downstairs portion of our open sea exhibit. Whoa, there goes a little turbo. We are here downstairs looking at our newest ocean sunfish. That's this little one right here. Uh, we now have two ocean sunfish, AKA Mola Mola, in the open sea exhibit. So it's a Mola 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 party going on right now here at the aquarium. Ocean sunfish, also known as Mola Mola, are found out here in the wild Monterey Bay. They're routine visitors to our waters and they're found all around the world in a temperate and subtropical waters. Uh, there are three different species of mola currently recognized. We've got the mola mola right here in front of us, which is what we find off of California typically. But there's also a new species that was discovered recently called mola tecta that was recently spotted for the first time here off of California, uh, down off of Santa Barbara. And then there's mola alexandrini, aka mola ramsii, that you find out uh, more off the coast of Japan and Asia, in Indonesia, etc., and that's the bumphead mola that you might find over there. So we have molas on display, and uh, you are, we're very fortunate to have them out here in the Monterey Bay. We're also very fortunate to have expert staff here at the aquarium that know how to take care of these fish. They are open ocean animals. They feed on jellies and squid, crabs and the like. They'll also feed on the seafloor, munching on uh, fishes and other things that they can find there. Here at the aquarium, they're trained to come over to a target and get their food hand fed directly from our staff. So they have uh, been able to have many molas here at the aquarium over the years. If you're wondering where the big ones went, well, they have been released back out to the wild. These are fish that only spend a few, uh, a few short while, a little short while with us here at the aquarium, just a few short years before they return to the wild with satellite tags so that we can track them out there along the coast. We can know where they are headed. And you may see stuff all over the internet that, oh, ocean sunfish are slow. They don't know how to swim, that they're just plankton, just drifting along. Nothing could be further from the truth there. These fish can jump out of the water. They're incredibly fast and nimble when they need to be. They'll school together when they're out there looking for a meal. And then they are experts out there in the open ocean, very successful, such that they are out here in the Monterey Bay and all around the world. And essentially, you can think of an ocean sunfish as a, a box fish, as a puffer fish that decided to be a sea turtle. So they swim with their dorsal and their anal fin, which is known as a strassiform swimming. And uh, many fishes swim like that, including trigger fish, box fish, and puffer fish, and that's a characteristic of the tetraodontiform group of fishes that dorsal and anal fin is swimming. But if you look at them, they look kind of like a sideways sea turtle. So the sea turtles have those big flaps there, allowing them to move around, be very nimble. And same thing with the ocean sunfish there. It looks like our sunfish is going over to antagonize the stingray over there. It's really funny. Now, escorting the pelagic stingray there in the background. That's very funny. These fish do have their very own personalities. You have some that seem to be outgoing, others that are a little bit more shy and reserved. And so we've got now two here on display. The youngest one, about two and a half feet, about 55 pounds. The older one is about three and a half feet, maybe 77 pounds, give or take. Those are estimates because these fish grow incredibly quick on their diet of mola sausages, which is a special diet for these fish. They'll grow to be several hundred pounds here on display. We've had 500 pound, 900 pound, 1200 pound sunfish here at the aquarium. And again, they can grow to be several thousand pounds in the wild, maybe 5,000 pounds for the heaviest of the mola genus. They are the heaviest bony fish out there in the wild. So even though they look pretty big here, these are actually still very, very small sunfish that we have here at the aquarium. And uh, 
Oh, did we get new bluefin tuna? That's a good question. We no longer have bluefin tuna here at the aquarium. They just get a little bit too big here for the uh, open sea exhibit. And they're so fast that their swimming wake was actually causing problems with uh, the exhibit. So uh, we no longer have bluefin tuna here on display. These are yellowfin tuna that we have out here. Although bluefin tuna are sometimes found here in the Monterey Bay during warmer season. Uh, bluefin tuna are usually going to be found off of Mexico here along our coast uh, when you do see them, but they all swim all the way out to Japan and back, uh, migrating that entire ocean basin. So we no longer have bluefin here on display, but oh, there's a little turbo. Look at it go. It's so cute. So sunfish again, dorsal and anal fin to swim. They have their tail there as a rudder and then those little pectoral fins that they use for fine scale maneuvering. They're actually very maneuverable. And if you're ever wondering if you're, you're, if you're trying to find a sunfish out there in the wild, you might see them just floating on their side, warming up on the sea surface. That's at least what we think they could be doing is warming themselves up after a deeper dive. Unlike some of their cousins, the opa, which have full body endothermy. So that's just a complex way of saying that they're warm blooded, just like us. Uh, these sunfish do not have that. And so they dive down deep, they get really chilly, then they come back up to the surface to warm up. At least that's one of the thoughts for why you find them lying flat on the surface, hence why they're called sunfish. Um, but you might also find sunfish out there by looking for one of their dorsal fins flopping around. And at first it looks kind of like a big shark maybe is uh, swimming towards your boat. And then you realize, oh, it's sculling back and forth. So that could be a mola out there. So I've seen some pretty hefty molas out on the Monterey Bay just sculling there with that fin. Whoa, there goes a really cool hammerhead fly by. And that's a scalloped hammerhead shark from Hawaii there, an endangered species. And here at the aquarium as ambassadors to those endangered sharks out there. But so those molas you see out there on the Monterey Bay, they'll have that fin just sculling back and forth. And then you realize, oh, this is a several thousand pound behemoth just warming up there on the surface. And again, they love to eat jellies. They love to eat squid and other things that they find in the midwater. And so sunfish, not your useless animal that the internet may have told you about actually an incredibly important member of the gelativore community out there feasting on those gelatinous invertebrates like siphonophores aka portuguese manivores if you've heard about them uh by the wind sailors the jellies that we have here on display so if you are a jellyfish you probably hear the jaws soundtrack when a mola mola is approaching they're proud predators in their own right and also molas are habitat for many other animals. They have over 40 species. Look at it, oh, that's so rude. The sunfish there is just antagonizing the pelagic stingray. Uh, love to see the different personalities that these fishes have. I think that's the first time I've seen a mola actually go and bother the pelagic stingray. Usually it's the other way around there. So uh, definitely a feisty mola uh, here at the aquarium at the moment. Uh, but these, these fish are so large that they are their own zip code at some point for many animals out there for over 40 species of parasite that live on, in, and under their skin. There are so many animals that drift along with ocean sunfish. So they're incredibly important animals, not only for their role as food and as predators, but also as a habitat unto themselves. Therefore, those drifters too. Well, all right, everyone, we are about two minutes here from the opening of the Monterey Bay Aquarium for the day. We wanna make sure to sign off before the visitors get here. But thank you so much for following us. Hey, thanks, Rickus. Thank you so much for being there. Thanks for watching here live on YouTube. And if anyone is watching the replay, thanks for tuning in as well. We hope you enjoy the new sunfish. You can watch the sunfish swim around on our open sea cam. If you go to MontereyBayAquarium.org, go to live cams, open sea. You can watch those sunfish on your own time. Have that on your second screen there as you do your work. But thank you for being there, for following us here on YouTube and uh, welcome to our new ocean sunfish. We now have the mola mola, mola mola happening here in the open sea. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks YouTube. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you again soon at the Monterey Bay Aquarium.